welcome. This accounting mini lecture covers break-even analysis. Okay. Break-even analysis, as uh, the name implies, allows us to determine the point at which we will break even. This is the point at which our net income will be exactly equal to zero. Uh, the only way that our net income is going to be exactly equal to zero is when our sales are exactly equal to our cost. So at that point, we break even, meaning that we do not earn a profit, but we also do not incur a loss. Again, net income is zero. Now, when we're computing our break-even point, the first thing that we have to remember is net income is equal to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. Now, we have an easy formula uh, to compute our break-even point in units. We simply take our total fixed cost and then we divide by our contribution margin per unit. And remember, our contribution margin per unit is simply the unit sales price, which is the revenue that we earn per unit, less the variable cost per unit. So let's walk through an example here together. Uh, in the little purple chart, we have our sales revenues, our variable cost, which get less our variable cost, which gives us our contribution margin, we can then subtract the total fixed cost to arrive at a net income. Now, what we also have off to the right is a contribution margin analysis on a per unit basis. This is what we're going to need in order to compute our break-even point in units. Okay, so the first element of our equation that we need is going to be our total fixed cost. Because remember, our formula is fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. Okay? So our total fixed cost in this example are $24,000. And we see that listed there in the purple chart. So we're going to take that $24,000 and we're going to divide by our contribution margin per unit. In this case, our contribution margin per unit is the $30 that we see there in the chart. So we take the $24,000 in total fixed cost and divide by the $30 per unit contribution margin. And this tells us that we must sell 800 units of this product in order to break even for the period. Now, break-even analysis can be important for any company, but it's especially important for smaller businesses and startup companies um, because it can kind of give the owners an idea of, you know, at what point is it feasible to break even and start earning a profit. Um, so these formulas can be very helpful. And, and again, we'll go back and in summary, our formula for break even point in units is fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. And that'll tell us the number of units that we must sell in a period to exactly break even. So thank you for watching this video on break even.